Welcome back everybody, this is Scott from Filmora Effects and today I want to show you how I make one of my existing live videos on YouTube into a short. And as you know, YouTube is monetizing shorts now, so everyone's on the short bandwagon and uh, so why not get on that bandwagon too, because it's pretty easy. So I want you to look at what's on the screen while I talk for a second. Okay, most people already knew that the length of a video for YouTube for the shorts are 60 seconds or less. They're probably going to change that most likely to keep up with the other uh, company that I'm not going to mention. And the resolution most people believed was 1080 by 1920, and that was it. But that's not true. You can also do a 1080 by 1080. And I recently did a 1080 by 1080. It absolutely qualified as a short, and it's already live on one of my other channels. So you have two resolutions to, to mess with here when you're modifying your existing video. When you're doing a, when you're doing a video from scratch, uh, just take 1080 by 1920. Just put your phone in uh, portrait mode. Just hold it straight up and down and film, and boom, it'll already be there for you. Anyway, let's continue, and I'm going to show you how I take one of my videos all the way and turn it into a short. So first thing I'd like to do is hide that track so we can mess with some stuff and now we're going to go over to YouTube studio and we're going to grab a file and I'm going to show you how to do that too okay open up your YouTube studio on your computer I wouldn't try this on the phone there's other ways to do it on the phone we're just working with Filmora 12 today on our laptop so that's how I'm going to show you fire up your YouTube studio Pick whatever channel it is you want to work with. We'll just use the, the one we're on. Go to your content. Pick something that you want to turn into a short. Let's take this thing about keyframing everything. So just go down here and download the file. Once your file is downloaded, you can close YouTube Studio. You won't need it again until you're ready to upload and we will uh, come back here in a few minutes and upload it and see if it actually becomes a short or not. Okay, we are back in Filmora 12, and we're ready to take that file that we just downloaded about keyframing everything, and we'll drop it right down here on track one. Don't worry too much about this because we're going to change that resolution. Okay, and you may have seen this video, and what we're going to do is turn it into a short. Let's see how long it is. Oh my goodness, it's nine and a half minutes, and we got to get it under 60 seconds. So as a short, when you're making shorts, um, here's my suggestion, recommendation. Anyway, it's what I do. I think of a short more as a movie trailer. You just want the highlights. You're not trying to tell a story. You don't have time to tell a story. You're showing... The highlights of that story and then hopefully you'll link to a longer video if that's what you're trying to do and let, get people over there so they can actually watch your story so let's continue so filmora 12 is live blah blah let's first thing we want to do is change this aspect ratio do you remember the two aspect ratios well one is just simply one to one 1080 by 1080 I'm going to set that to 30 and we'll say OK. And there we go with these nice big black bars, top and bottom. bottom. Now we're going to move on. Uh, you can also experiment with the other resolution, which will be a 9 by 16 portrait, which is 1080 by 1920. And that's pretty much the traditional one you see on YouTube. But if you're taking a video that's already been made, you want to have this a little bigger and it still counts. So I'm going to go back to one by one because it will count as a short. Let's trim this down. Now, I'm not going to do this for real because if I did it for real, you'll be watching me for the next uh, two to three hours. So <laughs> I'm just going to shortcut it to show you how I do it. And then you can modify your own later on. First thing I'm going to do is press my preset key to mute, which is M. For me, you can set yours up any way you want uh, because I don't want any of the audio from this video in my short. I'm going to add music. And that is the next thing I'm going to do. And why am I going to add music? 
before I even chop this thing down? Well, it's very simple because I want it on the beat. So I need to find an audio track that I like, go ahead and change the beat options to what I want, put it down there in the music, and then edit to the beat. Now, maybe you don't want to edit to the beat. Well, in that case, you can just move on and add your music later. I find that most shorts, which are, have been edited heavily, work better on a beat of a music. So if I'm uh, moving from one scene to another scene in 40 seconds, uh, I like to have it on the beat. You can also, uh, here's a little tip for you, if you want to catch somebody's attention that isn't paying attention, every once in a while, switch scenes on the offbeat. Yeah, it's a little psychological trigger that's going to make them go, huh? And they'll look up and say, hey, what was that? Anyway, here we go. <laughs> Crazy advice from Scott. <laughs> but it does work. I'm going to pick something. Uh, we'll just go under the new category. It doesn't really matter for this uh, for this one. Oh, uh, by the way, I'll just go ahead and pick something that's free. Just so you don't yell at me and say, oh, well, you had to buy this. Um, so there's nothing new under free. Let's just go under music, artist. Let's find something free. There we go. Galaxy Dream. Let's drop it in. Make sure it's been downloaded previously. Okay, so if it's been downloaded previously, you can go ahead and right-click it and use beat detection. See this little circle? Boom, it's done. Now you can right-click it again and go back to beat options. You can um, choose beats one, beats two. Uh, there are models that are preset. You can just go ahead and set this yourself. I like um, every two beats or every four beats. I'm going to stick with the default right now. And we're going to mark the highlight beats only. If you uncheck that, it'll mark everything. I want the highlight beats because that's what I want to switch my scenes on. Anyway, there we go. It's done. That's done. Drag and drop. All right, let's go ahead and edit to the beat. And for that, I'm just going to kind of hover over top of it in the right place. And there we go. It's telling me that um, that this track is how long? It's like two minutes. Yeah, this track is uh, a little over two minutes long. That's more than enough for what I need. So let's go ahead and just pick some stuff. Again, this is fake. I'm not doing this for real. So I'm just going to lock the track. Now we're working on the video, not the audio. We're working on the video. So let's say I don't want that. Let's take that out. And um, I'm going to unlock that track because as you can see, this music doesn't start for a few seconds. So I'm going to bring it over, highlight the music, cut it, take that out. I know I'm going fast, guys, but um, you can slow it down and pause this video at any time and just figure out what I'm doing. So there we go. I've got the first scene the way I like it. Let's go two beats. Let's lock the track, go two beats, hit the split button, and find the next place we want to bring in. So let's there. Let's let's jump it right to that. It doesn't matter if you're on the beat for this cut or not. Uh, I'll show you. We'll just go halfway between the beat because the beat is not for this cut, this split. It doesn't matter. See what I mean? Now let's take it up two more, and to get it precise, just click on the on the beat notation there. Make another split. Let's find the next place we want to put in. Let's find something we want to do here. Uh, here, we'll just be like talking about that maybe. Take that, delete that, go over two more, split it again. Whoops, go over again, split it again. Go find something else that's cool right there. Delete that. Anyway, I think you guys got the idea. We're up to about 20 seconds here. Let's just go ahead and end the video. Uh, at about uh, 30 seconds. We'll end it right on the beat. How about that? Let's unlock the track, select them both, hit split, delete everything after, and wham bam, there you go. This, and I do need to delete this track if I'm going to export it. And that's it. Let's watch it for one quick second. Boom. On the beat. On the beat and one more boom on the beat okay you get the idea this could be anything this could be a dance routine it could be a guy sitting in a chair and drinking a beer you, you know you can do a lot of stuff with filmora 12 
I like to cut them on the beat. Maybe you don't. Then don't. <laughs> These are just examples of how to get something done. Obviously, you can change it up any way you like. And now we just need to export it. You know, obviously, if this were for real, I would be making a project. I would save it. Blah, blah, blah. But I'm not going to do that. Be very careful right down here, guys. Um, we're going to call this um, short test one so I don't get mixed up. Make sure you put it in the folder that you want to put it in. I got one here for my channel called uh, Needs Upload. We'll take that folder. I have presets. If you have presets, leave this alone. Because if you click preset, you're going to screw up your resolution. You can go ahead and change the quality, and you can change your frame rate, but don't mess with the resolution, or it will not be a short. Go ahead and export it. It's only a couple seconds long. It's already done. It's done. We're going to pause right here. I'm going to take you back to YouTube. We're going to go ahead and upload it, and we'll see immediately if it fell into the shorts, what they call a shelf, uh, or not. Okay, we are back in the YouTube studio. Ignore everything on the screen. All I wanted to show you is what we're going to do next. We're going to click on Create. We're going to go to Upload Video. We're going to select the file, which was Short Test 1. Boom. Right there. And we already know we are successful. It looks like you're uploading a short. All your shorts are automatically considered for shorts and revenue sharing. Well, that's it. That's as far as we really need to go. Um, Make sure you guys have created some playlists. It's very important. Um, make sure you put that. You can put them in multiple playlists, which is perfectly fine. Uh, don't forget about the hashtags. Um, it's very important as well. Uh, here's a good one for you. Um, boom. Shorts. Okay. 488 million videos in the shorts playlist. I would use it anyway. So uh, that's it, guys. I want to thank you. Make sure you put your keywords, uh, your keywords in your description, also keywords in the title. We'll do a whole video later on about uh, SEO, uh, search engine optimization. But right now, uh, that's it. Um, I've got uh, TubeBuddy, which helps me out with stuff like that. If you don't, it's still very easy to do. And that is it, guys. All we do now is we get next. Uh, we go through the whole I'm not doing anything illegal part go to next uh, do I do not put an end screen on your shorts I don't think it's gonna work very good because the end screen takes the last 20 seconds and overwrites it or overlays it with whatever uh, you could probably get away with a subscribe button or something but I tend to stay away from the uh, end screens on a short I just don't think they're necessary that's totally up to you uh, next and next, and here's one last tip for you, go ahead and put it on unlisted, really just for this reason. You want to make sure, uh, I'm going to go ahead and save it for you, and you want to make sure that you're going to get monetized for that short, right? So we go back over to, to uh, content, and um, what's going to happen is it's processing the uh, up to HD, high definition, and restrictions. Anyway, I got no restrictions on this one. And it is done. I can turn this on right now. It's a short and it will go and it will be monetized. But it's just a demo so no one will probably watch it. Anyway, that's it. Well, that was it, guys. I hope you got something out of that. Um, it, nothing else you learned that there are two resolutions for YouTube shorts. I really appreciate everybody watching. And we'll see you real soon on the next Filmora 12 video. I've got a lot of content ready for you guys. And please, uh, if you're looking for something in particular... Uh, just put it in the comments. I read them all. Um, sometimes I don't have time. I have a lot of YouTube channels. Sometimes I don't have time to answer them all. But I definitely read them. And I try to heart and like anything and everything I can. Uh, which lets you know that I did read it. We'll see you real soon on the next one.